You know what's more addictive than caffeine, doom scrolling, and binge watching TV shows combined? It's coding, if you do it right. So here's how to make coding addictive in a healthy manner. Step 1. You need to leverage the science of dopamine. The human brain loves tiny wins. So break your coding goals into small solvable tasks. Don't start with build an app. Start with rendering a button, making it do something when clicked, styling it like it belongs in 2025, and so on. And every tiny win equals a dopamine hit. Remember, your brain gets addicted to progress, not complexity. Step 2. Use the feedback loop. Coding is addictive when the feedback is instant. You write code and you see results. So use tools like CodePen for front-end experiments, console logs to debug and celebrate, and linting tools to feel clean and error-free. So basically, immediate feedback keeps you in the zone. Then in step 3, choose the right challenges. So if you want to quit coding on day 2, then you would start with Kubernetes, React Native, and an OAuth flow, which are all complex or too much to start with. But if you want to stay addicted to coding, then start with building a portfolio page using HTML and CSS, a to-do list or calculator using Vanilla.js, or pulling cat-related facts from a public API. Remember that simple is not equal to boring. Simple is equal to sustainable. Step 4 is realize that personal projects make it stick. So textbooks don't create passion, projects do. So build things you care about, such as a journaling app for your bad jokes, a Chrome extension that blocks spoilers or ads, a playlist shuffler that only plays sad songs when it rains, and so on. So basically, personal relevance is equal to emotional investment, which is equal to habit forming. And all of this makes the entire process more fun. Step 5 is join the coding ecosystem. So if you want to code more often, surround yourself with people who also think coding is a very fun activity. You can join Discord servers, Twitter or Reddit dev communities, local or virtual hackathons. Basically, public accountability and shared struggle makes it feel less like learning and more like playing with friends. And in step 6, you can track progress like a developer. Use a habit tracker, log your bugs and breakthroughs in Notion, push something to GitHub every week even if it's tiny. Basically, seeing your own growth over time, that's the ultimate secret to convert coding into a habit and being proud of your journey. So basically, all in all, coding becomes addictive when it feels like progress plus purpose plus play. You need to break it down, make it personal, and celebrate small wins. And upon doing all this, before you know it, you're googling error messages at 3am because you want to. So code small, code often, and code like it's a side quest. If you have any other suggestions to make coding more addictive, then I would love to read your thoughts in the comment section.